But anyway, um, talking about models and talking about stuff that works and doesn't work. Oh my God. So my favorite brand, um, Balenciaga, obviously put out a really cool collection recently for Fall Winter 2013. Um, sorry, um, Fall Winter, Fall Winter 20, yeah, Fall Winter 20, 2023, sorry, which I obviously loved and I had a lot of time for. And there were two things for me in the collection that stuck out that I was really, really down for and really wanted to cop somewhere down the line. Number one being these biker boots. Um, they essentially kind of a rip or like a bit of a progression or an evolution of these boots that they did in 2017, um, which were kind of popular. They were more like of a motocross type of boot. They had more of a sturdier sole and they weren't maybe as light looking and they weren't so distressed, but they're somewhat, somewhat of a grail to me. And obviously this is an update and I think they come in like four or five colors. And then the other thing I saw that I thought was really good from that collection were these combat pants and they were like a flared combat. And I think in general, um, Ben could do a really good job of putting together really good combats i think they've got a couple from past seasons that have been really popular obviously kanye has been wearing a lot of them in recent um years and making them kind of really really popular and whatnot but i do like the overall shape i just love the pocket placement and you know if you know anything about combat or cargo pants you'll know that to get the perfect ones is kind of hard like once you get into them it's kind of like um caps or hoodies or t-shirts once you like a particular fit it's really difficult to find that fit done a lot because people basically change the shapes or the cut of something and then you know it's kind of hard to figure out where to kind of get that thing so sometimes it's nice on a brand that like Balenciaga keeps repeating a certain shape or a certain model of cargoes because you know you can buy them season in season out or stock up on a few so those are the two highlights of things I liked right well the price list for this season or next season is kind of leaked online and people are going insane about it on social because the prices are absolutely wild. And this is courtesy of an account called My Fest Bueno. Um, that's, you know, I think you should follow because it kind of posts loads of stuff regarding Balenciaga and whatnot. And if you want to get updates on stuff and pictures of showroom materials and whatnot, you can check them out. But they leaked the price list for the upcoming season and the biker boots that I want these biker boots right it's absolutely preposterous but these biker boots that i want are seven thousand dollars seven thousand two hundred dollars retail seven thousand two hundred dollars retail the fled cargoes i'm interested in right the ones i just showed you right here these fled cargoes they are two thousand four hundred dollars nearly 3k for a pair of cargos and let's not even start talking about the inflatable racing jacket which is exactly what it describes it's a racing jacket made out of leather that also can be pumped up there's an inflatable hoodie the same inflatable puffer there's a metallic speed cat sunglasses which are if i'm not mistaken they're kind of um they look like they're one piece so you can't fold them um there's a black speed cat sunglasses 2005 550 um round shoulders fitted tracksuit jacket 3050 a double front jeans 2450 and deco shattered denim jacket 3550 like can you imagine how crazy those prices are legit and it made me think to be honest i was thinking to myself you know what i wonder if this is like an inflection point because you remember i remember seeing a clip of somebody from microsoft or somebody from blackberry when the iphone originally launched saying oh we're not worried the iphone is uh it's not going to be that successful it doesn't have a keyboard and plus it's 500 dollars no one's going to pay 500 dollars for a phone and that was when the first iphone come out right the first generation and obviously that kind of set a precedent for phones going forward because it was the first one to kind of hit that barrier to hit that kind of level and everyone kind of it became the new normal so i wonder going forward if this is what blenshark is doing because in general you know designer shoes or sneakers or boots and stuff are usually anywhere between five hundred dollars to maybe two thousand at the max right so maybe some andy the musters um some big boy ricks about five hundred to two thousand but they've never gone above that so now maybe they're setting a precedent for the new normal going forward where we're going to be getting designer shoes from like 5k up because seven grand to spend on biker boots again just forget their biker boots just imagine they're any shoe designer shoe is legitimately insane but it might be the new normal because i feel like even though there's a lot of outrage as you can see here from the instagram account there's, lo there's like over 300 comments of people basically raging and saying this is really un unacceptable especially in the economy that we're in at the moment and given you know the finances everyone has and whatnot this is pretty crazy but i have a feeling that over time 
people are going to learn to accept it. And also, the unfortunate truth about this is that the people that actually buy Balenciaga all the time, every season, and just hand over their Amex card or their black card or whatnot, or a suitcase full of money to a sales assistant, they don't care about this stuff. Right? They just look at what they want, they circle it, they send it to their rep and they get it sent to their home or they pick it up later on. They're not really too bothered about the prices of things because if you could spend 1000 what's 7000 Do you know what I mean? So they obviously can afford it. So I think overall, they're probably going to weather this backlash. They're not going to address it, obviously. And then they're going to just set this to be the new normal going forward. But some of the comments here are pretty interesting regarding some of the previous prices. You've got one here from a um, real um, aficionado of Blanchard and Demlin Vetemar in, in general, Mike the Ruler, the legend. He said, for winter 20, less than three years ago, the baggy cargo pants with the same cotton ripstop fabrication, same pocket construction and finishing were 1350 So the same pants, he's saying, from three years ago or 1350 and now the same cargos are 2000 nearly a double price increase the tyrex biker boots were 1490 so they've gone up by like what six times or something six or seven times which is absolutely crazy i'm not too sure if this is to account for you know the rising cost of energy and transportation and all that in malarkey i don't really know but it also could be another really weird theory is that that whole entire time they've been cancelled, quote unquote, Balenciaga, they've kind of missed out on a lot of sales. People were burning some of their flipping sock racer things, burning all their fake triple S's, right? People were doing all that sort of nonsense. They were protesting outside of stores. They were calling people pedos if they're walking inside of Balenciaga. So, so maybe they lost a lot of money in that whole entire period. So now they're trying to get it back by raising the prices and making people pay seven grand for flipping, you know, biker boots that aren't really biker boots it continues another person says time to move on to philip fleen which is hilarious another one says oh also get your money up <laughs> this is what happened actually i remember this all happened um when visvin was popping up when visvin was popping up this is what happened visvin went from like being a brand that was like i don't know within like the 1000 range and then it went up and kind of doubled that over time and people just had to kind of acquiesce and kind of get used to it another one says i've looked into making air mattresses before and it was super expensive with low moq so i can imagine it's super expensive to produce inflatable pieces but the sunglasses exactly another one says sometimes it's okay not to be able to afford something obviously i want blend but it doesn't mean i'm going to have to write to afford it what <laughs> what's this person talking about this is proper bootlicking comment it's the same thing with chrome hearts for example it's meant for a certain crowd doesn't mean the prices aren't poo poo though yeah that's some bootlicking talk another person says they're alienating their own audience after we supported them during the controversy time to go back to vetemar lol or well, vetemar isn't that cheap either the funny thing about this i think as well which is kind of cruel and also the reality of life is that if you think about it the actual people that make designer brands cool trendy um somewhat culturally relevant are people who technically can't afford it if you think about it they're the ones who technically can't afford it are the ones who make it popular but then the brands don't really cater to them they cater to an affluent group of people who in general only buy it because it's cool and trendy and don't have any real you know there's no real um attachment to the brand like the ones who you know essentially can't afford it because they really live that life but the ones that can really afford it just treat it as like uh anything they treat it like as their version of haynes right it's not that big of a deal for them anymore it's just a status symbol that they can add to themselves to kind of give themselves um you know to prop themselves up in somewhat but it's not really anything deeper than that which is kind of hilarious if you think about it Another person says here, the funny part is that the only group of people who can really afford these prices are actually receiving for free. This is also true, right? You get a lot of influencers getting stuff for free or getting stuff heavily discounted, um, which is hilarious. Um, they're not paying full prices, not the money's not going to them. Another person here says, I love and appreciate the product, but there is a limit to how much work I need to put into buy clothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> how many jobs are you meant to get to buy it? He says, I know it's expensive and I believe that I'm not the clientele they're looking for after all. And for me, the elitism is not so exciting. I thrive shipping um, limited edition or limited selection because it's unreasonable. That said, there are millions of millionaires out there for sure. Not the image I want to follow either. Exactly. So you want to buy Blancy, but then you also have to earn a certain amount. But then if you earn a certain amount, you're going to be looking like certain people that wear it and you don't want to look like those people that wear it. You're in a weird position. Another one says they're gatekeeping their own brown with these prices. Yeah. And that, that also might be what they're doing. It also might be a hard reset. Do you know, like when that guy from. Um, 
because I always thought it was a, 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 it was obviously a purposeful done. It was I thought it was always I always thought sorry, it was done on purpose. When that time, if you remember, when um I think Jay Z was trying to, what brand was it? It was some sort of liquor brand. I forgot what brand it was, especially, but the same goes for Hennessy. But when Hennessy was the flavor of the month, um, with people in the hip hop community, and they were shouting it out, and then they were trying to get promos and get deals with Hennessy to promote it, because obviously they were helping to promote the brand by mentioning it in raps all the time. Someone from Hennessy basically came out and said, "We don't want to cater to you blacks. We don't like you black people. We're not really for this. We want to cater to a certain demographic. We want to, you know, it's not for you." And that obviously inadvertently led people kind of black people kind of boycotting a brand and i think that also led to jay-z starting his own thing with ace of spades but it was like a purposeful sort of like um you know they kind of like you know they they self-inflicted they did it to themselves just so they could temporarily get rid of the customers they don't want and then recover on the back end so maybe this is what balenciaga are doing they don't want a certain customer or they want the people that are only going to ride for them for real and what better way to test people's dedication and commitment to your brand them by raising the prices you know that might be the way to do it you raise the prices you get rid of all the pores all the blacks all the browns all the other minorities right and then you just kind of a you know attract a certain group of people that you actually want and maybe it's just based on wallets maybe it's not based on race i don't know but i just think it's flipping wild that these motherfuckers are charging seven grand for biker boots seven thousand don't get me wrong they're flipping nice boots, right? Really nice boots, but 7,000 is flipping crazy. Um, this is obviously the best colorway here, that little white and yellow one. And I think these are the glasses that are like three grand and they're four grand. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So whenever these do pop up on AliExpress, done know I'm going to get a pair. They're obviously not going to be good quality, but when these glasses do end up on AliExpress, I'm jumping on them straight away because ain't nobody paying four grand for flipping sunglasses, man. They think, they must think I'm smoking that good budge. No way, no way, shape in hell. 